Hey guys, talking about the San Shin Kata today. Um, pretty much all of us do the San Shin, and I'm not, I don't want to teach the San Shin Kata. That is all over the internet. But what I want to do is talk about some tips, some pointers uh, from my experience, things that I've seen that will might, might help, um, especially some of you new guys, in doing the San Shin Kata and working on some of the basic fundamentals of the kata. So stay tuned. Hey guys, Phil here from the Ronin Dojo, um, ronindempo.com. Um, we're going to talk about some Sanchin Kata. And what I have today is four tips to help with developing your Sanchin Kata. Now, there's probably a lot of other fundamentals, a lot of things that many other uh, Shihan or Sensei can, can think of to help. Um, but these are just some of the things that I have. Tip number one, posture. One of the first things we see um, when people doing the San Chin is the first time they fall back, they're kind of here. Butt sticking out and the back is not straight. So I suggest doing this in front of a mirror. So when you do it in front of a mirror, your back's straight, your chin's up. So when you do your, your, your block, your technique, or whatever you're doing, you come back to your posture. So you're here, chin's up, back straight, and you're not, not in this shape. You're here, right? So tip number one, back straight, keep your butt in. I, I wish I could remember what my sensei called this like 20 some odd years ago, but you know, because we're all, so many of us do this. But, so when you fall back in the sun in Ichimanji, you want to have a nice, straight posture. So, point number one, principle number one, um, posture. Try to, try to be straight up and down as you can. All right, tip number two, moving from the core. This, this, is, this is a good principle for Taijutsu and Karate. I, I've done um, Top of Bujinkan uh, Buddha Taijutsu. I've also done Kyokushin and Shonaru Karate. So you've fallen back into your block, whether up or down, whatever, it is, and you're ready to move forward. One of the things so many of us do, or, or one of the common mistakes, is it's like a swinging door, right? And this hip just kind of does this number, right? What you want to do is like compress, right? Compress, just like somebody's pulling you from here, right? You want, you want to compress and move from the core, whether you're moving forward or back. So you block, boom whatever the strike is, move from the core. So we're not moving on a hinge, again, like a door opening and closing, right? So it's not, it's not here. Move through, right? Boom, go through, all right? So one, nice straight posture. Two, move from the core. Forward or back. One, right here. All right, move from the core. All right, tip number three. I call this staying closed. Um, we want to keep a good defense, right? So open and closed posture is what I call it. So let's say I'm moving from here and going to do Sui no Kai. Um, a tendency to do the block, and I know a lot of people go from here, which is fine. Um, you don't want, and this is caused, a lot of it's caused by that swinging door from tip number two. But if you do the block, common mistake come here and I'm open, right? This big gap between my arms. 
So I like the idea of staying closed to where there's no opening. If you look at my, my posture, my defense, boom, it's always closed, as I call it. I like almost having the Jumanji um, posture to this to some degree because I want to keep my hands closed at all times. So block, strike. It's not block, strike, it's block, strike. You want to keep any open feeling in your side chinkata, in your movement, as small as possible. So moving forward with that compressed feeling will help this, right? So point number one, posture. Keep a good posture. Number two, what was number two? I don't remember. <laughs> we'll review it in a minute. But point number three, stay open, stay closed. But point number two was to com compress, move with a compress, move from the core, right? One, good posture. Two, move from the core. Three, keep your body closed as you move. Don't, don't open yourself up for to be an attack. All right, number four, the last one that I have for today. Don't load your punches. We see people, street fights or, or other martial arts, rear back to throw this haymaker punch, right? Um, karate on their shuto, the, the, the basic kihon for a shuto is a load, strike, load, strike, load, strike. That's not what we're doing here. So the example I did a minute ago is sui no kata. When you make that block, or even from here, it's not, not load this peppy up and come down with this big chop, right? It comes from there. So you block, strike. It moves forward. I'm moving real slow here. It moves forward as your body moves forward. So block, strike. Hopefully if you do it right, when your foot's hitting the ground, is when the shuto is actually hitting its target. And then you follow through with your body and you're driving through the target, right? Um, Kamukai. It's not block and then come up and load this sucker and let it fly. It comes straight from where it is, wherever it is. Whether it's here or here, I always think of my arms like a railroad track, and I want this to ride the railroad track. So if I'm coming from here, it just comes straight forward as my body comes forward and drives straight forward. From here, right? I hope you see what I'm saying there. I'm not loading it. It's just a body movement. I have the weight of my body and the speed of my movement behind it that gives it the power. Not just whacking with my arm, whacking with my arm. I don't rear back to throw a punch. Punch comes from where it is. Block, strike. So hope that makes sense. So those are four fundamentals that I think if you do them, watch yourself in the mirror, video yourself, watch yourself do the techniques. With these things in mind, it'll help um, your son Chinkata. Hope you enjoyed today. If you did like it, uh, like the video, maybe subscribe if you, more videos are coming, and leave a comment. Um, you know, where are you from? How long have you been training? Where do you train? And just Whatever you're looking at, whatever you're looking for, and uh, 
I would appreciate it. Thanks, guys. See you next time.